Well, Jennifer, as you know, President Donald Trump is on his way to fundraise for Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. The two of them have been allies throughout both of their time in office. Congresswoman, thanks for joining Thank us. You. What's it like to welcome the President of the United States to your district? It's, it's just a tremendous honor and a privilege to have the President of the United States uh, be here. Uh, obviously, he's coming in to support me and my campaign. Uh, we're hoping he'll come back. I'd uh, love to do one of his rallies and uh, get everybody to be involved. Uh, we're going to push him, of course, to do that, but it's very much an honor, and I, it's historic in Utica. Uh, there's, I don't know what the dates are, but they claim that uh, Harry Truman came through here in a whistle stop in like either 1948 or 1952. I'm not sure of the date, but I've heard both. We saw you just yeah. come out from inside the hotel. Yeah. What's the planning behind the scenes like right now? Well, it's a lot. I mean, to be honest with you, I haven't really been intimately involved with it. There's a lot with the White House advance team, the Secret Service, you know, planning an event. Uh, where he's starting in Fort Drum to st sign historic uh, legislation on the National Defense Authorization Act. Some good stuff in there for Rome Lab for us that we've been fighting for that I'm glad that's going to happen. And then to here through Rome and then we got to get him you know into Utica and, and just you know situate everyone at the event. And it's just been it's been very complicated and we got one week's notice. So my uh, hats off to my team and everybody who's been working around the clock and and uh, please be patient because not all of us have gotten a lot of sleep. There's just we're trying to accommodate as many people as we possibly can. We know that President yeah. Trump won this congressional district by about 15 points over his oppo opponent in the mm -hmm. presidential election. But the two years since have been somewhat controversial. Mm -hmm. Why is doubling down on your friendship with him the best campaign strategy? Yeah, actually, he won this uh, Utica, Utica and uh, not Utica, but Oneida County by even larger margin than the rest of the district. Um, I think what's really important is uh, the president's favorables are really significantly up in this district from when he ran in 2016, you know, based on a number of independent polls. The president uh, has had an incredible journey in the year and a half. There's a lot of controversy, but much of it is really not focused on the essentials and the important things that have gotten done. Expanding the military, which is something he's doing today, to make sure they have the resources they need. Uh, cutting taxes, which has been a tremendous boon to our region. You'll hear the naysayers, and including my opponent, but the sales tax revenue has gone up in our region. People are out, they're buying things, they're buying cars, they're uh, going out to eat more, they're taking care of their families and spending spending money that's all good and that's all part of the, uh, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. We want, want to make it permanent, we want to make even deeper cuts to the middle income taxpayers. Our businesses are doing really well. That's why we got such a tremendous response for a business roundtable. We have businesses from around this region who are going to be coming in and wanting to tell the president what they like about the tax cuts, how they're reinvesting, how they're giving out raises, how they're giving out bonuses, and how they finally have a new uh, invigor uh, invigorated uh, feeling about Utica. The consumer confidence is way up, especially among our small business owners, and our small business owners are about 98% of the businesses in this region. So for us, it's critically important, and that's why uh, you know, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act has been amazing for our communities. In spite of what they're saying, it's really working, and it's not a good message for the Democrats. And the, the president wants to highlight all the good things that are happening and, and uh, that we're, we're on our way. I mean, unfortunately, Utica and this region have had a tough time. They're once a powerhouse along the Erie Canal and uh, many factories have closed. And I, of course, made this pitch to the president, and you've been right there alongside of us, even with the Made in America initiative. And the president's still working hard on that and putting America first and uh, getting uh, Cheryl Manufacturing, for example, in the White House and focusing on Made in America. And American workers are the best in the world. They're our greatest asset. Bringing them here is really important. The next step is getting them uh, educated so they can be on the job and getting them the training. That's why we had Ivanka Trump here earlier. She was there talking about workforce development and getting people trained to do the jobs of tomorrow that we're, that we're looking for people now. This is actually an employee market. Employees have all kinds of opportunities now that we have increased jobs. You bring up Cheryl Manufacturing yeah. though. I know that you've wanted him to come there. People are yeah. concerned that you had to spend a thousand dollars to meet the president today. Yeah. How do you make him accessible, though, to the people that can't afford that? Well, a lot of people are coming to this event or getting an opportunity to meet the president, uh, whether it's on the tarmac in Rome and some others that are special guests of ours here uh, in the reception today. So we're hoping that we get him at a rally and everyone can come and it would be open to everyone. But the reality of politics is, look, my opponent uh, has got Governor Cuomo fundraising for him in New York City, not out in the transparently like we are here. 
Uh, he's got Nancy Pelosi spending millions to support his campaign, uh, and they're spending it on me, you know, and I against me. And I want to make sure the president wants to make sure I have the resources to tell the story and to and to set the record straight and tell the truth about what's really going on. Is your son here today? Yeah, he is. He is. He's very excited. He's on leave. Uh, but he took uh, took a couple of days just to be here with me. All right, thank Congresswoman you. Tenney, thank you thank so much you. for joining us. Good it. luck Thanks. with the president. Thank, thank you, you so much. Jennifer, now we'll send it back to you.